Hello there, this is the third time I've tried to bloody record the start of this thing. This thing. I have to go to episodes and what's the other one, because you know, the checkpoint's different or whatever. This is the worst intro in the history of the world, but basically, the phone has rang three times while I've been trying to record this, the first bit here. Yes! Previously on Alan Wake, so enjoy. Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You know exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake. Good girl. Quite clearly, been annihilated. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Mm. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. Well, there's my we phone again. FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He is anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay. I'll be right over, Sheriff. <clears throat> Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Hi. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. <laughs> a writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. Oh, that was that perfect. Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. My God. Uh, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway... There was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zing. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Holy goodness. All I can say is, Bleh! hurry up. Please hurry up. That's it. All right. I forgot how to play this completely because I've been playing Red Dead Redemption. Ooh. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. Awesome. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. I seen a tornado. It was in my dream. Where the hell are we going? Randy's dogs. Everybody in this game is bald apart from Alan Wake. Look at my luscious locks. You like them, don't you, Barry? It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Are you, you going to say anything else, or are you just going to continue it after we've walked around for hours? Are you done? 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 Come on, mister. I'll take you to Rose's trail. I was waiting for Barry! Go. Oh, cool, a can. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, oh, you could have walked to Rose's trailer in the time it took for Barry to have his little conversation with himself. Barry! Are you done? Yeah, I thought so. Ba -da -ba 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 -do -do.
Why did you do that? Those poor birdies. Oh my god, this man is the best. Gotta follow this man. Wear an orange vest. Go! This here's Rose's trailer. I lost. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. I want to steal her stuff! Go. Oh, Barry! Welcome to... to... Oh dear, Mr. Wake, I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please, come in. Something's up with a face. Hey, this is really good! <laughs> Rose. Yes? My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. <laughs> she doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> they Barry. drugged Barry. Or what? killed him. Whatever one. What? No, he's been drugged. That's what you get for being obviously an idiot. Oh god. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Ah, I don't know why you come on TV. That's not very nice. Holy crap! I felt nauseous, hungover. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do, about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. Very okay. close. I can feel it. Yeah, but there's a shrine to you on the wall. And a mobile. Well, this is weird. She's got mammoth stuffed toys everywhere as well. By everywhere, I mean she's got two of them. This is a really childish room, I'm leaving. Rose took a day from oh. me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something oh. out once I got on the road. Rose, Welcome you're back. to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. I'm going to see how he's going, to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Nope. Thank you. Barry, go. Stay. Come oh, back soon. Shut up. Goodness me. Can I run? Yeah, I can. Ah, oh, sweet. Gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, 
looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Ugh! <laughs> Can't have friends. I'm Alan Wake, for God's sake. That ah, rhymes. Alan Wake, Alan Wake, simply refuses to eat a steak because he's vegetarian. Actually, I'm not quite clear on his preference of foodstuffs, but look out. Here comes Alan Wake. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, 